Ryan here from CNR Reviews. I'm going to do a quick review and install vid here on the ATI Mosin Nagant Sportster stock. Um, it's a replacement stock for your wood, um, your wood Mosin Nagant stock that's all beat up. If you have one that's all beat up, we recently picked one up that was kind of beat up, and I was thinking of refinishing it, but I actually ended up getting another Mosin Nagant that I actually wanted, which was a hex receiver rather than the round receiver here. We'll actually go over that when we do a Mosin Nagant review and kind of show you guys some, some comparisons between the different rifles. But um, this is the install of the ATI Mosin Nagant Sportster stock. So it fits on the exact way that your wood one would. It just doesn't have the, the top piece here. So that's an extra step that you don't, that you don't have to do. Um, so you start off here. I'm going to actually take it out of it and you guys can just reverse it to actually put it back together. Um, so start out by taking the screw out at the bottom of the magazine here. Now you can use your, um, your little tear shaped tool that the Mosin Nagant comes with also. Um, that's actually it's, it's, it's pretty pretty helpful when you're uh, when you're taking down the original stock. Now I like to take the bolt out before I take this upper screw out here. And the way you do that is you press the trigger and you pull your bolt up and then with your trigger depressed you can just pull your bolt straight out. Um, it makes it really easy to take out. Alright, so now I'm going to take out this other screw up here. sufficiently taken out and you can kind of tip it yep there goes the screw all right the next thing you do is you try to work this magazine out there we go magazine comes directly out now I am actually not going to take well I'll tell you what let me try to get it here it fits really tight inside of this plastic now this is the the glass filled nylon it's not the uh, the um, like the old ATI stocks. This is actually a, a really nice stock. Um, so I'm going to try to get it out. It fits really tight in there. Um, sometimes they say that you have to take a little bit of material across right here. Um, if your if your rifle has like a different finish or something like that, um, or it's you know there's there's some slight differences. And ATI's philosophy is. We're going to add as much material as possible to this and because it's easier to take it off than it is to add it on. And I actually agree with that. Um, if you want a custom fit, you're going to have to do a little bit of shaving with some sandpaper or you know, a drill making a hole a little bit bigger or um, you know, taking a Dremel and, and actually customizing it to your rifle. Um, if you want that custom fit, that's kind of what you're going to have to do, unless you're going to pay, you know, $200, $300 for a, a custom stock. So um, I'm going to try to take this out here. It does fit really tight, but let me see if I can get it. Yep, there it goes. All right. There's a broken tooth. No, <laughs> Yeah, no kidding. Um, and also, when you're when you're replacing the stock, they give you this little, they give you this little um, this washer also, and this washer is to fit underneath this back screw. So what you do is you put the screw in first, and then you put the washer on, okay? And the reason for that is the reason for that is um, some of the rifles when you're putting it in the stock you'll have a gap right here and what this does is it raises this back part up a little bit um, with that washer and it'll seal the gap up here it'll seal that gap it'll kind of tilt the rifle a little bit it won't mess up anything down here or up here but it'll it'll give a little gap back here but nothing nothing bad and uh, it'll make this fit just a whole bunch better so um, 
Now again, this is a it's a replacement stock and it's hefty. For being a plastic a plastic stock, it's got a way. I would say a pound to two pounds. I mean, it's kind of hefty for a stock. It's got a nice hard plastic butt end on this. It doesn't. It feels like it could it could take the recoil um, of the Mosin pretty well. Um, I didn't shoot it with this. Um, I'm actually planning on taking this back, but um, because I, I, I have a, a new rifle that has a better stock on it where I don't need this anymore. But um, this is, man, if, if I was going to sporterize a Mosin Nagant and make it uh, a modern day hunting rifle, I, this would definitely be something that I, that I would be interested in. Of taking this out to the woods, you're not going to be worried about this um, breaking on you, snapping on you, getting screwed up by, by twigs or rocks or anything like that. It probably will scratch, but I don't think it's going to break. Um, and if you do want to modernize the bolt, it already has the cutout here so that you can have the, you know, the, the bolt that faces down. Um, it's actually very, very well made. I've had a couple other ATI products that have just been crap. Um, like their, uh, their top folding shotgun 870 stock. Um, I, can't, I couldn't stand the thing, it fell apart at the range. This, this doesn't have any moving parts to it, so I think they, they are okay on this. And I was actually very, very impressed when I picked this up and felt how heavy it was and how sturdy it is. And then the way the Mosin actually fits inside of it, it, it fits really well. I, I was actually very, very impressed. It does have a rubber butt pad on the end, so you don't have to, you don't have to replace that. You don't have that metal hit in your shoulder there. Um, has some checkering up here. Has a couple, uh, couple little um, strap hooks here uh, for you know a couple like safari sling hooks. Um, you can put that on there. Uh, the only thing, if you're gonna do something like this, like the little sleeve that holds your bullets, you want to make sure that you have one that will fit in between here and here. This this little this little uh, back hook area. You want to make sure that that fits in there nice because mine kind of bunched up a little bit and uh, I, it, it kind of looked like crap but I mean you could always get a different a different bullet carrier. Otherwise um, I'm going to just install this real, real quickly again to show you guys how to install it. So again you just kind of sit the rifle there. Make sure that your, uh, that your trigger, your, uh, your trigger bar here, the little pin that holds your trigger in place, make sure that doesn't come out. Those things I, I, man, I took this thing apart, was carrying it out to degrease it, and uh, or to, to take the Cosmoline off, and I lost that pin. And it took like two hours looking for that thing. So do not lose that. The thing comes out very, very, very easily. So if you want the washer, I needed the washer. I put the washer on the uh, on the inside here. What you do is you just slide the the trigger in and that bolt in. Just kind of fit it in there the best that you can. When you tighten the screws down, it'll actually pull the rifle quite a bit. Um, the only area that I saw that might need a little fitting was actually this area right here. And right underneath, the, or right underneath this, if I pop the rifle out again, there's actually these springs here. This little bar here. And what that is, is that is um, that's to load your rounds inside the receiver. And that moves out quite a bit. If you don't have enough room, you end up slamming your finger into that thing because it doesn't it doesn't move enough um, to make it easy to load rounds. So you do have to maybe take a little material off of there. I had to take a little bit of material off, but it was nothing big. So I'm going to uh, again install this just real quickly. Let me see here. All right, just drops in, and I'm gonna turn it upside down here. There's that screw. Put my magazine in. Okay, and I'm actually gonna put this screw in first here, just to make everything a little bit solid. I'm not going to tighten it down all the way though, because you can actually see it as the as this screw tightens, it'll actually pull the barrel into the stock down here, because you have a pretty big gap. I don't know if Chad wants to move the the, the camera around here, 
Maybe I can turn the rifle. I don't want to lose that other screw. Let's go ahead and just start doing it. But uh, it. you can actually see it move down onto the rifle as you you can feel it. It's just sucking it in. Yeah, it just sucks it in. See, there it goes, right there. You have to squeeze it a little bit, and it's nice and tight. So I'm not going to tighten that all the way until I get this other screw in here. But I'm going to... This other screw on the top here. Actually, bend that down a little bit. There you go, nice and tight, but not too tight. Flip it back over. Finish tightening this one up. There we go. It stops it nice. And there's the rifle installed in it. You got no gaps on this side. Fits nice and tight there. It actually looks really, really good with this rifle. Um, through the whole thing, I mean, you can see it just fits nice. So, again, I did have to take a little bit of material off here. Right here, I don't know if you guys can see that. Jack and zoom in on that gap a little bit. But, uh, there's already a slight gap there. I just kind of widened it a little bit um, to, to make it a little bit easier to pop my shells in. Let that spring move a little bit more. Then to install your bolt, pull that trigger, slide your bolt in, let your trigger go. Now the cool thing about the Mosin is it also has a decocking feature. If you snap it back up here, you just pull that trigger and it'll snap back down. Decocks the weapon without actually firing it. So. Again, this is the uh, the ATI Mosin Nagant Sportster stock, and uh, it's a pretty good buy if you have a crappy wood stock that you want to replace it with. So, um, all right, thanks a bunch. This is uh, Ryan from CNR Reviews. Thanks for watching.